Hello, this is Captain. Welcome back to Stormworks Basics tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing a steering stability controller. So let's go ahead and we'll take my car for a spin here. I've disconnected the stability controller. It is connecting just the seats control, the AD, to the left and right wheel. I have the left wheel inverted. And so this is without a stability controller. So we'll take it for a short drive and we'll see how the car behaves without the stability controller. So again, this is just the seats AD, plugged in the wheels, the left is inverted. So as you can see, we're already having problems steering this car. And we're gonna try to take these turns. As you can see, very, very loose and very spinny. As you can see, I'm struggling to keep this car on the road by a lot. It's really spinning around. All right, as you can see, car is pretty much unusable at this point. So let's go ahead and we'll take it back to the workbench. Go ahead and we'll look at the steering stability controller I already have in here. I edited this so we can do the test here. It's just going from the seats one, which is AD, directly into the port inverted and the starboard. And as you see, the car is pretty unstable. So this is the steering controller here. So start with a black microcontroller here. I'm gonna go in here and we'll name it something. So steering stability controller, uh, we're gonna make it four wide. And we'll start adding logic. So the first note here you're going to have is a composite note. It's going to be input, and we're going to use a physics sensor. You can use an angular speed. I recommend a physics sensor. That way you can use it for other things. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another composite input, and that is going to be from our seat. After that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our port wheel. That's going to be an output. And we'll do port left wheel, and then we're going to add our starboard wheel. We have our physics sensor, seat, port, or our left wheel, starboard, our right wheel, and let's go ahead in there. So we'll separate all of the outputs and the inputs. All right, good. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to read our seat, and we're going to read the number. And for this, it's going to be 80, so it's going to be 1. All right. And for physics sensor, we're going to update this really quick. Let's go ahead and add a physics sensor. And we'll orient this just with the blue arrow facing forward, and we'll delete this extra block. We'll connect up the physics sensor here to physics sensor. And we'll go ahead and we'll highlight the composite output for the physics sensor. If we go down to channel 11 there, you'll see angular velocity Y. That is the angular velocity that we want. That's going to be the correct orientation for us. So that's channel 11. So we're going to go in here. We're going to do another read number. And I'll plug that in and make this channel 11. All right, good. Next thing we want is a PID. And I always use the advanced PID, so let's use that. Advanced PID. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in channel 1, which is our desired steering with AD, and we're going to plug that into the set point. We're setting what angular speed we want. Next, we're going to go into the process variable with the physics sensor, the angular speed. So we're going to set what angular speed we want. All right, next thing we need is we need a property number. And we're going to plug this into the p-value, the proportional gain. So we're going to go ahead and put in p-value. All right, now I know for this car it is 0.25. Some of my cars are 0.75, and they're generally between 0.25 and 0.75. You'll have to set this on your own. It's really not all that hard. You know, you can start at a 0.5. If the car starts to wobble, the p-value is too high. If the car is not, uh, it's it's pretty good. So we'll actually, I'll go ahead and set the cars too high, and you can see what that looks like. Next thing we're going to do is a constant on signal next. And we'll plug that into the bottom of the PID. So this PID will always run. Uh, from here, we can take the starboard, the right wheel. We can plug it directly into the PID. And then what we want to do is we want to take a function block. We'll take the one function here. And we'll do a negative x. This will make your left wheel backwards so that it is uh, sending the signal uh, inverted. So pretty simple. Seat, ch read channel 1, goes into the set point. Physics sensor, read channel 11. That's going to go in your process variable. We want to put a p-value in, this case 0.25 for this car. That goes into your proportional gain. And then we have a constant on, which will start the PID. We go into a negative x going to the port, and we go directly into the starboard wheel. So pretty simple there. 
All right, and to show you how to hook it up, you want to make sure that your angular speed is around the center of gravity. So if we look here, we have the cube that shows the center of gravity. And if we look right here, this is where my physics sensor is. So you want to try to get it in the center of the car as close as you can. Mine's a little off center, but it works perfectly fine. Just trying to get it close to the center of gravity, that's going to work best for you. All right, so the next thing you want to do here is we'll look and we'll look at the composite node. So right here we have physics sensor. Physics sensor again plugs directly into physics sensor. Steering goes from your seat's composite. Then you want to go from your steering starboard to the steering of that uh, right wheel. And then you have steering port. That's going to go to the steering of your left or your port wheel. All right, so we're back with this car here. And all I'm going to do is go into the steering stability controller and show you what will happen if your P value is too high. So right now our P value is at 0.25. So let's make it a 1. So it'll be uh, four times as as much and we should get a wobble here as we go driving so so 0.25 is where it should be for this particular car again different cars are going to require different p values so you can start to see uh, there's a little bit of wobble there as the controller tries to take over right there see how the car is wobbling that means your p value is too high and we'll fix it back to what I've already tuned this car to. I know that 0.25 for this particular car works. So we'll go 0.25, spawn that, and as you can see, this should not wobble when we go on straightaways. So if you're having that wobbling, you're going to need to decrease your p-value. So it really depends on the car. I can't tell you one magic number that works for every car. It really depends on the car you're using. So just take it on a nice straightaway like this, and you notice no wobble. Alright, so that means that my p-value is tuned in. So, pretty simple controller, but it really makes a car much more controllable, much more usable, and a hell of a lot more fun in game. So, I hope you guys found that helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.